there are a lot of drop test videos out there of people dropping phones, which is pretty useful because you drop phones a lot. They're in your hands all the time, they can fall. But what about a computer processor? I got a lot of comments telling me not to touch the bottom of the processor when I was doing my uh, overclocking a Core 2 quad, which is very justified because your oils can get all over it and stuff, but it's not really going to damage it other than that. Don't quote me on that, maybe it will, but I don't think it will. So we're going to test to see how much damage can these processors really take? Because, you know, you're installing it in your system, you're about to drop it in, and whoops! It's just gone. It flew out of your hands and hits the ground. That's why we're going to test to see how much damage this can really take. This has been in my camera bag for about a year and a half while I've been trying to film this video, so we're going to see if this even works to begin with. So we're using this great computer to test this processor. We have an LSP 750 watt power supply, some random ASUS motherboard that came with an HP computer, and this processor, a Intel Pentium D, and this ASUS GeForce 8400GX, which I realize we don't need because the motherboard is integrated, but what can you do? We have it all set up now. Let's see if it turns on. I will not be surprised if the RAM's dead, or some of it, which is why I have a bunch. Or it? It'll still work. All right, grab our keyboard. As you can see, we have a Pentium D, whatever it is. I don't remember the model number. So now it's time for the drop test. All right, so we're going to first do a drop test just on good old grass. So to start, let's grab the CPU. Ah. Place the CPU in the CPU hole. Position it. Plug the battery in. Make sure the drop test mechanism's all calibrated. It's very advanced calibration. Oh, I just realized we only have two minutes. Oh, I don't know my phone. All right, we're going up. The battery's already low and I just charged it. Drop it. We should have had a timer. Drone, no. Oh my god. I should grab another battery. Yeah, why isn't it dropped? Oh my god. Well, that was failed. It's gonna drop it right when it hits the ground. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, that was a very successful drop test. We've dropped it from about 500 feet. I hope you see that uh, nice flip in slow motion. Let's see the damage. Literally nothing, because we dropped it on grass. So the CPU, it pretty much survived. We'll test it in a second. But you know, it's looking a bit dirty, a little bit dusty from uh, that grass. So I think we need to wash it quickly. Yeah, let's, let's go. So it's really dirty, landed in grass. Need to wash it a little bit, give it a little bit of soap. This is the cleanest it'll ever be since the factory. Get all that dust off. Mmm. <laughs> uh, mm. All right, there we go. Now it needs to just dry it off quickly. People will say it's fake. That's cringe. But it's oh, really not. Like, man's blocking the light. They're gonna be like, oh, it's fake because look, it's cleaner than it was before when you put it in. No kidding, just like wash <laughs> it. So I, mean, I knew the water wasn't really gonna kill it. Now this might not be good for long-term use, I don't know, maybe something, maybe water got in the IHS and something bad will happen. But um, I know that this is mostly okay, because I took a Pentium 4 and I tried to take it out, it got stuck to the heat sink or something like that, and it broke off three of the pins. So I'm like, oh, this thing's dead. So I went and just washed it with soap and water in my kitchen. Then I just put it right back in after I dried it, and it worked somehow. So, and it ran a Minecraft server for three, not three years, like a year, and it's still fine. So I was pretty confident that this was gonna be okay, but. Now it's time for the gravel drop. So the grass was pretty easy. I was, pretty, I was expecting it to work. So I want to drop it on wood now. I know I said concrete, but the concrete will just break it. Like, I'm kind of just a guarantee in my opinion. So <laughs> my other option was wood. And I was not able to drop it on a wooden deck because I wasn't allowed. So instead, we're going to drop it on this wood pile. All right, two minute timer has been set.
plug in the battery. I'm pretty confident I can not hit the power line. And if I do, then we're going to run away and pretend this never happened. Yeah, yeah. I, I know we're... I, just, you know, menu, format, card, easy. You do not need calibration. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Uh. It should stay in this position because GPS. The CPU is <laughs> waving around a lot from the wind from the propellers. So, oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Let's do a quick inspection. I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, so the good news is that the battery's still good, so we can do another uh, drop. And also, the CPU didn't take any physical damage, so I'm assuming it's perfectly fine. So we're going to try it one more time and get a little bit more on the wood, and maybe even a bit higher up. Ooh. Bit of a battery situation, we're going now. Go up. Center it. Go. Go up. Yeah, go, 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 go. It's dropping, I think. No, wait. There it goes. Ooh. It's going. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Right here. So the front looks pretty normal. The corners actually look pretty good. Honestly, yeah, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So I don't see any physical damage, so I'm going to assume that it works perfectly fine at the moment. So honestly, it might just be gravel time. If it can survive like a hundred <laughs> feet of just gravel, I think we're good. Although yeah. I don't think we're going a hundred. Bro, gravel overclocking? Yeah. <laughs> This thing can't overclock, it's a Pentium dual core. <laughs> but it's time for just a full send. We're going to drop it on the gravel this time. The wood, it's just not as hard as the PCB, I guess, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know how the strengths of the different materials. So we're just going to go right on the gravel before the sun gets too dark. Uh, the mechanism is 40 seconds in, so we've got like a minute 20 left for our drops. It's getting dark. This will be the last drop we do, and it might be the final drop before the CPU just dies. So get right into it. <laughs> it's dropping about Go. Seconds. Whoa. Epic Gamer. All right, so I'm hopefully dropping it right here. Go up. I, oh, oh. Well, there's our drop. I think CPU the CPU is good. Survive. CPU is good, honestly. I'm honestly not surprised to survive. Are you, wait, are you going to... Uh, to make things clear, I do not say, I'm not trying to say that CPUs are really strong or anything and you should touch them all the time, like the pins, because oil is not great for contact, gold contacts. But I just kind of wanted to see how far a CPU can really go before it <laughs> physically breaks. Oh, that looks sick. I'll hover here until it drops. Let's cut it! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that hit, that hit IHA, I, oh, the integrated heat spreader. There. Allison Jones going away. Meh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you for that. There's a bit of a neck right here. Uh, if we turn it over, the pins, honestly, are all in good shape. It's mostly because it hit the heat spreader first, so we aren't really seeing any like huge damage. What's this? Case of the light. Oh. We got it's a little bit of damage here on the PCB actually, and you know, actually a pretty big chunk out of the integrated heat spreader. But overall, the CPU is in pretty good shape. Oh wait a second, with the light. Okay. This might be interesting to see if it works. With the light, I can see it's a little bit deformed oh, yeah, right yeah, yeah. there. Actually, quite a bit. I can feel it with my finger. Oh, yeah, I see that. I don't know if the camera can see that. Here. Are you focused? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See right there. Yeah, you can see the, the right light. there. How the light hits it a little bit differently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hmm. All right, let's see if this works. We just got back from dropping it on the gravel. There is a little bit of damage to the PCB. None of the pads are gone, so it might still be good. I oh, know. that's oh, that's weird. Oh no. Like this side, it's not. This oh, side's no. fine. This side. Oh no, no, no. You gotta torque it down, bro. <laughs> on. Yep, yep. Power button. Power supply turned on. Oh, 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 oh. Fans on. Ooh. 
nothing's happening over here, bud. Oh, turn back on. Uh-oh. We're gonna apply, apply more pressure to it. Yeah, just push on it. Push on the corner that's, that's not good. I don't know what corner's not good. I'm pushing on, pushing on all of them. Yeah, just... Ah. Uh... The fans are still on. Should I try turning it off and turning it back on? I can do that. How hot is it? It is getting hot, which means it's doing something, but not enough. Take the, uh, take the cooler, yeah. and like, it's right there. And just like, push on it. Yeah. I've seen the mother. Did you turn the pass on? Wait. Look, if you're flexing the motherboard, you know you're doing it right. It might be gone. I guess the moral of the story today is that, you know, dropping it on grass from like 100 feet is good. Don't, don't have to worry about that. Uh, dropping it on wood might be fine. We didn't test it in between the wood, but I didn't see any damage on the actual PCB or the heat spreader, so I think that'd be all right. But the gravel did kind of kill it. It bent the PCB a little bit. Uh, and I think just the CPU is dead now. We're not, it's not boasting. The fans are on. Um, gets hot, but it's still a sign of a dead CPU, so.